Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. Very good morning to you wherever you are on the globe, especially on the continent of Africa. Yes, in Europe, in America, Canada, Australia, or even right here in Asia, Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise, wherever you are on the globe. Dear friend, welcome to this very Wednesday morning edition. It is midweek. Yes, it is midweek and I'm here to give you everything that you need to know about your club, Chelsea Football Club. Ghana Black Stars, if there's any news, I'll bring your way. The Super Eagles of Nigeria and any other news around the globe in the world of football. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. It's Wednesday morning. Yes, your breakfast show. <laughs> yeah, your breakfast menu here right now. Hot as it is. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Baghdad Ebali, I believe most of us or almost all of us, we know who he is. But that Ebali is one of the co-owners of Chelsea Football Club. Yes, if you don't know it by now or you don't know him by now, there the picture is on your screen. With our newly signing Jaden Sancho. Yeah. You see, it's been said severally that he is a hands-on owner. Hands on the job owner. <laughs> I don't know if you understand my, 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 my explanation here. Hands on job. He's the kind of owners that want to see jobs done, being present. He doesn't just give instruction and walk away. He is always there to assist in delivering of the job. Hands-on owner. He cares deeply about the club, Chelsea, and spends time following the team home and away games. He spends a lot of time with the players. He spends time at the team room, I mean dressing room. He is always around the players. You see, he was in Napoli last week as Chelsea sought to finalize the Victor Osimhen deal by himself. He was there in Napoli by himself. He was also in the dressing room again against Crystal Palace when we were about to play the game against Crystal Palace as he was after the same way he was there also after a defeat to Manchester City in our first game. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is on your screen. Yes, again with Jordan Sancho telling you that he is always available, readily available around the club Chelsea. This is the kind of management style that Americans like. They would like to be on job. They like to be seen present in office every single day. They like to be right there whilst things are happening. Not necessarily controlling you whilst you are working, but they, they want you to feel that they are part of what you are doing. You see him there with a smile, with Jonathan Sancho, right in a, in a box. Ladies and gentlemen, well, that is just by the way. Let's get started. Um, latest news we received regarding the Super Eagles indicates Last night, last night, actually, Benjamin Tanil is coming in to come to replace Bright Osai Samuel. Yes, Benjamin Tanil coming in to the Super Eagles camp, or he has come into the Super Eagles camp to replace Bright Osai Samuel. I'm not too sure on the details on this, but from what I'm getting, the little information I have from X indicate that. Even this player that was caught in this Benjamin Taniu, many people are unpleased. Many Super Eagles fans are not happy with the choice of player the coach is bringing in. For instance, there are better defenders than this guy. Why are we calling this guy? The Remo star is smart, or so is even better than him. A Guaven, if you no one to make God punish you, <laughs> don't play him ahead of any defenders. Somebody says, who be coach what? Who be, who be coach where they call them? And that one says, so there is no better replacement playing in a competitive league apart from this guy. Equivalent, I know you are the one always bringing this guy to the national team. God will fully pop. You know, my brothers in Nigeria, eh, the white God punish, God punish, you guys take it easy. Easy. If God wants to be punishing everybody the way we are pronouncing it, will you, even you, you, will you be in existence? Will you be in existence if God wants to be punishing everyone 
Will you be in existence by now? Tell me. Ah, ah, ah. The coach has chosen his players. Easy. You might not agree with him on every choice he makes. But not to be cursing him. <laughs> I understand. Football is passion in Nigeria, you know. I understand pretty well. Just as Ghana, it is safe. All right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, quickly before we go to some other news, eh? players that are free agents as we speak, big, big players that are free agents and have no club right now as we speak. As a matter of fact, you can see them on your screen, the free agent 11. Ben Yeda, Dipe, my own Dipe, 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 Dipe. My own Dipe is free agent. Dele Ali is free agent. Yazik is free agent. Anthony Marshall is free agent. Rabiot is free agent. Gomez, free agent. Almighty Hummels, the German international, free agent. Sergio Ramos. No, you are supposed to retire, man. Sergio Ramos, you are all retired. Don't follow Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, retire. Sergio Ramos, free agent. Mati. Mati. I think Mati used to be with uh, Liverpool, right? Free agent. Nevers. Free agent. My free agent 11 is what you can see right there on your screen. Free agent 11. Are you interested in any of these players? Get in there and negotiate with them. They are all free agents. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Back to Chelsea and England news. Chelsea and England news. Copama has withdrawn from the England squad for the Nations League fixture against the Republic of Ireland and Finland. Kopama has withdrawn from the England squad for the Nations League fixture against the Republic of Ireland and Finland. Chelsea say Palmer is back at Cobham to continue rehabilitation for ongoing issues for the remainder of this international break. Oliwatskin and Phil Foden have also withdrawn from the England squad. England currently have no plans to replace the trio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. It's not only Kopama that has withdrawn from international duty. Wesley Fofana has withdrawn from international duty as well. I think uh, Malogusto as well has withdrawn. I'll verify that and I'll still get back to you. Yes, so our players don't want to aggravate their injuries. Some of them sustain minor injuries and they don't want to aggravate that. They want to be fit before the international break is over. So it is a good news for us that they chose themselves to withdraw from those international games in order to put themselves back in fitness level before we resume. Because otherwise, they'll end up losing their position. I believe their competition, they know. They understand their competition in the team right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea players, they understand that there is a competition. If you lose your place, it will be difficult to get back in. Yes, yes, yes. It will be difficult to get back in. You see, before I, yes, Malogusto confirmed, Malogusto has withdrawn from the France under 21 squad because of a tie injury. Chelsea has confirmed that as well. All right. Chelsea has confirmed that as well. Okay. Now, before I go to some issues I want to discuss with you this very morning, let me announce that Samu Chukweze and Benjamin Tanimu are all in camp right now in Super Eagles camp. The short video on your screen right now is Super Eagles camp training yesterday. Super Eagles camp training yesterday. All right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to discuss something with you. <laughs> Very interesting. Like you know, I always try to analyze our players and their style of play. Today or this morning, I'm starting on Copama partnership with Nicholas Jackson up front. Briefly, in two, three minutes, Copama and Nicholas Jackson if you observe both players very carefully from last season, you realize that they are good partnership. They are very good partners to each other. They complement in each other in games. Yes, if you doubt it, I want you to go back and what Jackson passed to Kopama against Luton last season. It was an insane pass from Nicola Jackson to Go Palmer against Luton last season. If that is not enough for you, against Wolves, 
against Wolves. Yes, against Wolves. Jackson was ready to do everything as long as the ball gets to Kopama. And he knows it's a goal. And he did just that. Against Wolves. He did similar thing. Jackson liked to drop back, help the midfielders build up, and he when he build up, he always look out for Kopama. Once he get Kopama, he knows that it must result in a goal. He knows. Against Wolves, go and check that also last season. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. You see, insane chemistry between them against Everton. Watch that also. I cannot bring you all the video because of copyright issue. You can Google it or YouTube and check the videos. Against Everton, another beautiful pass from Nicholas Jackson to Cole Palmer that resulted in a goal. Last season, we held Cole Palmer for scoring lots of goals, but we were not thinking of how the goals ended up getting to him, how he scored the goals. Apart from the penalties, almost 60% of the goals that Cole Palmer scored last season all came through Nicholas Jackson. All came through Nicholas Jackson. 60% of all the goals uh, Kopama scored last season in open play all came through Nicholas Jackson against Everton. Another insane chemistry between the two of them. Go and check that as well. Against Crystal Palace. Oh, yes. Against Crystal Palace. Palmer still find a chance to locate Jackson as well. Against Crystal Palace, Ko Palmer was able to find Nicola Jackson to score just last week. This is a match made in heaven for both guys. I brought up this for you as a football lover. Someone who watches football and you know football and you love football. I want you to start taking note of some of these things, dear friends. <laughs> if you can watch football with this kind of art, eh, you will enjoy it most. You will enjoy it most. And you will not criticize for nothing. You will start to criticize objectively. We are on international break. And so it is time for us to analyze players one by one. I have been doing that, doing that for the past one month. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, I just brought you this one for you to note that Nicholas Jackson is not just a goal scorer. He gives more assists, and so long as the team is winning, personally, there's nothing much wrong about it. He's delivering. If not for him, Kopama wouldn't have won the amount of goals he won last season. You can go back and refer to all the games we played and check. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is your breakfast. I will not go too far. But quickly, let me announce that Rhys James is unlikely to be fit enough to start against Chelsea's next opponent. Initially, we heard that Rhys James should be back uh, just after the international break. But as it stands right now, as things are right now, he is still thought to be a couple of weeks away from returning to full training. Our captain, Rhys James, is still thought to be weeks away from returning to full training. Meaning that he will not be available for our next game after the international break, you know, next week Sunday. He will not be available for that game. Ladies and gentlemen, all right. Before I go to some other news, once again, on oh my boy, like you said, I am in love with Nicola Jackson, right? Jackson, do you know that he is on a run of eight goals in eight matches for Chelsea? Oh, yes. Eight goals from eight matches. Every game. The past eight games Chelsea played. Eight goals in eight matches for Chelsea. This guy is being underrated or underappreciated. Underappreciated. Jackson is being underappreciated. <laughs> uh, I'm talking too much about Jackson, right? Okay, I'll get to your comments. I saw the insult I'm receiving. I saw it. I, I read all the insult. You see, majority of our fan base don't rate him because we didn't buy him 100 million pounds. Majority of you guys didn't rate Jackson because we didn't buy Jackson 100 million pounds, right? Uh, hey, I know. If we were to buy him 100 million pounds, you guys would have been rating him. 
All right. Victor Osimen, Victor Osimen, Victor Osimen. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Osimen has parted ways with his agent. Yes. He has parted ways with his agent, Roberto Calenda, after falling or failing to secure a move to either El Ali, El Ali or Chelsea. It's been long overdue. And it's coming in not as a surprise to me, but as a good news. It's been long overdue and it's coming in not as a surprise to me, but long overdue. Finally, he parted ways with his agent. Finally, he has seen that, no, this agent is not helping issues. Most of you, you agree with me. Part of Osimen's problem is the agent. Tango, over the period of the evening stroke night till this morning, a news came up that he and his agent, Roberto Calenda, parted ways. Ladies and gentlemen, that is on the front of Victor Osimen. Victor Osimen. All right? Okay. To my Ghanaian fans out there, this is for you. Good morning to you guys in GA Ghana. El Hilal reportedly after Fatal Isaku for 10 million euros per year salary to leave Leicester. 10 million euros for who? <laughs> Fatal Isaku, who helped Enzo Maresca and Leicester to return to the Premier League. Al Hilal reportedly offered him 10 million euros per year as salary to leave Leicester and to join them in Saudi Arabia. My goodness. Let me hear from you. What do you think? Will you go? Should he go or, or he should stay in the Premier League? If you want to hear my opinion, stay in the Premier League. Make name for yourself. Don't follow the money. Make name for yourself. In a year, two years time, this young chap has a future. He follow money right now. He can receive the money two seasons, three seasons. At the end of the day, your career matters a lot. Stay in the Premier League. From Leicester, you might end up in Man City. You might end up in Manchester United. You might end up in Chelsea. You might end up in Liverpool. You might even end up in Real Madrid. Real Madrid will not come to Saudi Arabia to buy you. No. Fatah Isaku, stay in the Premier League. Gradually build it up. You, you get there. There are players in the Premier League that are receiving more than 10 million euros. Right? Great. All right. Chelsea confirmed Jordan Sancho to train with Enzo Maresca and his staff during this international break. He's already in good shape and ready for a debut as Chelsea Football Club player versus Bournemouth end of next week. So we are likely to see Jordan Sancho playing versus Bournemouth next week. Now, even though there is an international break, some of the players that are not on duty or international duty, they are at Cobham training with the coaches. And we understand Jordan Sancho is equally there training with the coaches at Stamford Bridge. Before I go to your shout out this morning, this is your breakfast. I will not take much of your time. But before I go to your shout out, I want to announce to you, ladies and gentlemen, that as these things are right now, as things stands right now, you have to understand this. My Nigerian brothers, the international break is on. Yes. And by January, from the news we are receiving from Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea FC still really appreciate Victor Osimen. Chelsea FC still appreciate Victor Osimen. Let's see if they are, they are reactivate this. They will reactivate this option in January or next summer. Osimen has a break clause for January to move from Galatasaray. So Chelsea interest is still on Victor Osimen. Hopefully, hopefully we might move in in January transfer window or next summer. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, quickly, let me go to some shout out before I let you go for your breakfast. It is hot as it is. I'm not rushing it because I want you to get every detail on this very one. Well, I believe you got your point. I'll be back with more exclusives in the hours to come. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly, 
Frederick Amabeg says, Jackson and Droba are not in the same level. In the time of Droba, Jackson can't sit on a bench. I have told you before, Frederick Amabeg from Biasla State, Nigeria. Well, in the time of Droba, we had Anelka on a bench, right? So Anelka then and Droba, uh, uh, Jackson today, what's the difference? Tell me. Big shout out to you anyway, my good friend Frederick Amabe. All right. This one says, please, I respect your work, but for your program to be stable, more efficient, please limit the comparison of Droba and Jackson. And the 150K for O Cement is small. Albert from Takradi, Ghana. Albert, I never compare Droba to Jackson. What I try to do is for you guys to understand that the first season of Nicola Jackson. He didn't do badly after all. He scored more goals than Droba scored in his first season. And Jackson just entered the second season. Why don't we give him chance than trying to slaughter him? I mean, some of these players, they are very sensitive to social media. That is all I try to say. All right, big shout out to you out there. Albert from Takradi, GH. All right, Chukudina says, I'm Chelsea watching from Malaysia Blue Blood. 150k for Osimen is too small to be honest. 150k now in UK, tax free. Brother, most clubs, even if they are paying 300,000 pounds a week, tax is taking about 40% of that. And if this 150k is a tax free, then it is just the normal salary or wages for players in England. Ladies and gentlemen, well, as it is right now, he is taking 160,000 and Turkey, Galatasaray. What's the difference? What is the difference? Chelsea, he would have gotten more image rights. Yes. More promotional rights. You know, with, with, with uh, um, commissions. Ladies and gentlemen, big shout out to you, and my brother, Chukudi Nas in Malaysia. This was a good evening, bro. You cannot compare Droba with Jackson. Forget about that, please. Droba give us winning where we need it so that the distance is so far. Please, just stop the, this drama. Please, I so much love you. My name is Aziz Oguntayo from Ogun State, Nigeria. I so much love you to my brother Oguntayo from Ogun State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you. I have taken all of your corrections in good faith and I'll repeat it again. I am not in any way comparing Droba to Jackson. All I'm saying is that Jackson delivered in his first season as expected, period. Uh, this one says, Selah, you are talking rubbish. Thank you very much. Simple TV 939. I'm talking rubbish, right? I tried to search for you on YouTube. I want to know what you are doing on YouTube. But it looks like even YouTube doesn't recognize you. If YouTube recognize you, Simple TV 939. If YouTube recognize you, you should be on YouTube. You only put the simple TV. Where is your channel? <laughs> I tried to search for you on Google. Went to YouTube. You are nowhere to be found. So you know how to talk. You don't talk rubbish, but you are nowhere to be found on you on YouTube. YouTube doesn't recognize you, right? Anyway, sometimes I don't like to respond to people like you, but it is it is very bad and unfair if some of you just come on a channel and just throw insults. You don't say anything. You just throw insult at people. I mean, let's learn to be to have a little manners and respect for each other, right? This was a thanks very much for giving us update on Osimen. I'm Osman Ba from Celerion Kabbalah. Big shout out to you, Osman from Celerion Kabbalah. Big shout out to you out there. Uh, this one says, Don't forget that was the club DJ Droba come from before joining Chelsea. I believe everybody have opinion to do whatever. I decided to do is just the problem that Chelsea FC not ready to confuse the young man to join Chelsea. That is not the problem. <laughs> anyway, my brother in WC, big shout out to you out there. Very good morning to you. Uh, this one said, David from Ghana. Say, Mr. Selon, thank you for the good news. But can't we get Osime in January? Yes, Chelsea's eyes are still on Victor Osime for January. From Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea have not given up fully on Victor Osime. Now that even the agent is out of the way, we might be able to strike a deal before that January. Hopefully, things can be done. All right. So, by the way, thanks for the update. Big shout out to you, David from GH Ghana. Big shout out to you out there. All right. 
the last three or four. So say, good afternoon, Mr. Selom. I want to know if Chelsea still go for Victor Osimhen in January. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. He said, and if we doubt Victor Osimhen, please, Chelsea cannot go for Gokeres. What a player he is. An announced manga. Gokeres actually is one of my favorite players right now. I don't know why, but I heard recently that his agent was in Stamford Bridge. I mean, yes, that is what I heard. I even saw a picture to that effect, but it's an unconfirmed report. And that is why I didn't make a statement on it on this channel. All right, big shout out to you out there and announce manga. Big, big shout out to you. This one says, uh, any good news from Aoku Set? Aoku Set, any good news on? <laughs> anyway, big shout out to you, Aoku Set. I believe you're in GH Ghana. All right, this one says, I'm God's time from Nigeria. Victor Osimhen manager really need to be sad. He's been sad over the night, my dear friend. Big shout out to you out there. God's time from Nigeria. You know, the difference between Jackson and Drogba is the quality of players around. The project under consideration. Wisdom Ghana. That is true. Wisdom Ghana, it is just true. The quality of players around them are different. And that is why I try to show you Jackson is doing quite well in the with partnership with Kopama. He provides Kopama with a lot of assists. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me end it here. I should be back in the next three hours for more exclusives and updates from this channel. I'll see you guys when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.